Scuffle. Ashen Scuffle, uh, one of the Alliance maps that got ported over from Alliance. Um, it's it's a day map, of course. It was the uh, one of the original maps when uh, Alliance launched. And uh, here we go with these ship callouts. Ship number one is the Lupus Astaris, piloted by Wolf One. We have a uh, Artemis Gatling Pyramidian with a side Banshee and a Flare. Ship two is the GFA Flying Flounder. It is piloted by uh, Captain Strobeard. We have a Mobula with a Merc up top, double Artemis on the bottom, Gatling and a Flare on the wings. Ship 3 is the Fancy Hydra, piloted by Dementio. It is a Merc uh, Mobula with bottom, double Artemis, wings, Gatling and a Hades. And Ship 4, the Hobo Joe, piloted by Spudnik. We have a um, we have a galleon here. Looks to be a meta galleon with a Huach and Caro on the short side. We got a Lumber and a Flak Mark II on the long side with a Hades. And a flare on the back. And we've already got flare action going on here from the pilot. And that's a good place to flare right there. That cloud that they're flaring right there. That way they can see through that cloud. And they can find out if anybody's going to approach from that uh, uh, that area. And uh, <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Well, uh, that's match chat. Got to clear, gotta clear that match chat. Uh, there you go, Kairos. There you go. There you go. <laughs> yes, issue warnings everywhere. <laughs> All right, of course, we have Triple L on red, Fancy Cloud Dancers on blue. And uh, let's see what happens here. Hobo Joe's moving in. Looks like that uh, Moonshine's working there. I believe that will be Moonshine on the Galleon. Yes, it is. Of course, Moonshine allows the Galleon to accelerate as it has slow acceleration, so Moonshine kind of counters that. Allows it to get up to a decent top speed. Of course, Fancy Hydra can get away with just uh, Kerosene here. And uh, they're they're not using Claw, of course. They're using, uh, they're using Drogue Shoot. So they are expecting balloon pops here. In fact, let's double check the uh, loadouts for ships one and two. They're not really featuring much in terms of uh, balloon popping other than the flare and one side banshee and a flare on the Pyramidian. So Drogue shoot a bit of a um, interesting choice there. Not saying it's good or bad, but a bit of an interesting choice. And uh, looks like red... Uh-oh, blue's finally starting to get some spots out there. Looks like Fancy Hydra has found the GFA Flying Flounder, and they're putting some shots out there. Let's actually take a look at the GFA Flying Flounder. Looks like the Mobulas are going to go after each other. Hobo Joe with a great position right there to actually start popping popping away at the uh, GFA Flying Flounder. There's a hole break already. That should be a quick kill, except it's not going to be... Oh, yes, it is going to be a quick kill. There it is. Hobo Joe picking it up uh, with a uh, quick shot there. Uh, Hobo Joe picking up first blood. That is 1-0 in favor of blue. Meanwhile, Lupus Astaris charging in. I don't like this charge in. This is a poor charge in right here by the Lupus Astaris. I, I don't like this one bit. You Charging in 1v2 is not a wise move. I'm not sure what they're thinking here. Uh, but it looks like they are going to put side guns on. No, they're going to put the Artemis on. Looks like they're turning away just a little bit just to make sure that uh, other uh, critical components maybe don't get caught. And Lord of Spades, of course, on that Artemis. So they're going to take out the Lumberjack. And now, shots going out from both blue ships. Uh, we've got a spawn right there by the GFA Flying Flounder. Lupus Astaris is going to get absolutely wrecked here. Those flaks should rain true on Lupus Astaris. This is a poor decision by the Lupus, moving in like they did. This is a very poor decision. They're going to they're gonna get destroyed for their efforts. Yeah, GFA Flying Flounder it realizes what's going on. They're going to back out here. That was a poor decision by the, uh, by the Pyramidian. GFA Flying Flounder realizing this, they're going to run. It is 2-0. Blue getting a free kill out of that, basically. Uh, poor teamwork to start out for Red. Uh, they need to uh, they need to clean that up. These are the defending champs here, folks. Uh, bringing the Mobula the first time around. And this time, no Mobula, no dice, maybe? I don't know. This time, maybe no Mobula, no dice. And, uh, yes. Uh, Twitch chat reminding me to switch the teams. Like I said, I was informed that it was the other way around earlier. So, sorry about that, folks. Uh, meanwhile, we've got a spawn here. Lupus has respawned. He's respawned on the back end. He's backing up. GFA Flying Flounder is all alone right now. Uh, but, of course, both blue ships are running long range. So, let's swing this around as best we can and see if we can catch all the action here as they are firing on the Pyramidian. Now, they're going for the GFA Flying Flounder. So, we'll zoom back in on the Flying Flounder. And we've got, of course, Lumber Shots going into the balloon. That's a connect right there. That's going to knock out the balloon. And Shots going out on the Flying Flounder. They're looking to get a quick pickup with the with the Merc, but they miss. They just barely miss there. GFA Flying Flounder, of course, using that Drogue Shoot to try to uh, juke a little bit here. If they back up into environment, though, that's not good. They're, they've run out of real estate to work with. Unless they turn, so that's going to make them very, very predictable. 
Gat Art, I gotta say, Gat Art may be a bit of a questionable decision here from the Lupus Astaris, especially with two long-range ships. They, they have basically only one ship really shooting as opposed to two. Meanwhile, Blue always gonna have two ships shooting. Uh, Lupus is hull broken. Uh, they're in trouble. Oh, wow, a quick kill right there. That is 3-0 in favor of Blue. Not a good start. A very, uh... A very uh, difficult start here for the uh, defending champs, Triple L, as uh, GFA Flying Flounder realizing maybe they ought to exit stage left here. And they are doing so, and they have found a little bit of cover here. They have found the mountain range as cover. Let's actually look and see the arcs for the GFA Flying Flounder, as yes, they are indeed in hard cover here. Looks like Fancy Hydra's trying to rise up, seeing if they can find a little bit of cover to work with. As we've got five minutes gone by in this matchup, GFA Flying Flounder has been spotted heading into the tunnel. Lupus actually getting a rear spawn here, actually spawning in the middle of them. This is an aggressive spawn here. Uh, this is, uh-oh, that Galleon has turned on them. That Galleon has turned on them. Hobo Joe getting the uh, long range side in short range. This might actually be a benefit for Lupus Asaurus. They, they might actually have something here. They might actually be entering a DPS race. Yes, they are winning the DPS race as far as the armor break, but They've got two ships focusing on them as opposed to one, and uh, Galleon, of course, has much more perma uh, per perma hull, so that means that the Hobo Joe is going to be in uh, in good shape right here. Lupus, however, able to win this race so far. Lupus, I, I stand I stand corrected. Fancy Hydra, of course, is there to clean that up. It is 4-0. Hobo Joe driving down, and Flying Flounder getting aggressive here. They have no choice. Flying Flounder uh, gets the hull break. On the Fancy Hydra, Artemi going into the Fancy Hydra. They're picking up some shots right there onto the Fancy Hydra. They're looking for something, anything, but they do not have vertical supremacy right now over the Fancy Hydra. Fancy Hydra is going to have something here. This could be GG right here. This could be GG. There's a hole break right there. This should be GG. Hades going to the Flying Thunder. That is a flag shot right there. Just missing. Lupus respawning. They have to spawn in very close. That is a balloon break onto the Flying Thunder. They bounce off the Lupus Astaris. They bounce off the Lupus Asaurus. That could actually be a critical mistake right there, or it could just be bad luck right there by the Flying Founder. And they're in trouble, though. They're down to about 50% perma. That's a whole break, and that should probably clean that up. Just waiting for the Artemi to come through. Waiting for the Artemi. No, no Artemi follow-up. Very surprising. JFA Flying Founder, though, trying desperately to get in the face of the Fancy Hydra. Looks like this is the matchup to watch right here. Flying Founder's hull broken. And Tiger Uppercut in progress. That's a Tiger Uppercut in progress right there. And there's the kill. 5-0, a clean win for Blue. A clean win uh, against the defending champions right there. Fancy Cloud Dancers uh, coming back strong in this tournament. Showing the defending champs that uh, maybe last week was... Uh, maybe last week the the uh, Mercantile ship, the Magnate, uh, they might want to go back to that uh, next match. But they are going to be down 1-0 uh, as far as this round robin goes. Uh, like I said, Fancy Cloud Dancers, a clean 5-0 win. They are in good shape heading into their next matchup. But of course, we'll be right back with the next matchup here. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back with more Sunday Community Skirmish number